Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, hello and welcome to Werewolf the Apocalypse Dark Ages, The Burden of Kings. Uh, we are missing our resident weeaboo, but that is okay, because I got my lovely raven to sit in and fill in for our weeaboo quota tonight. Hello, baby. Hello, hello. Yay. And she'll be <laughs> happily watching us do the furry stuff and probably making fun of us on the sidelines until Adam gets here. Yes. I don't think fucking weeb. <laughs> when we last left off on the burden of kings, uh, babe, if you're not talking, mute your mic so I don't like double. Thank you. When we last left off on the burden of kings, you all were the children of Garrett Van Constantine, a highly lauded Silver Fang hero, and the inheritors of his legacy, as much a yoke as it is an honor. None of you had tasted the first change yet, but signs were looming. The rage was building, the disquiet at having to shoehorn yourselves into the human world was sitting less and less with you every, every night until eventually Gaia took its course, and one night Gawain erupted. And where once was a holy human person, now stands, bathed in the moonlight, a nine-foot-tall, pure silver Krynos wolf. You rounded on the keep, your childhood home, and now, just as the great wooden door topples, the scene is yours, my dudes. Thothleth, what's up? I immediately go after Adam. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny until you realize that Xavier has to make him another character. I Don't told Tom my plan for his characters. <laughs> if he keeps losing them. Well, you haven't. You're told just going to. You haven't told me. What's up? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I think it's one of those things that you shouldn't know. Yeah. That's what I could tell from that laugh. Let's just say moral degeneration is a tag. <laughs> Chaz, the stream died. Holy shit. Um, Uh-oh. It looks okay for me, Thoth. Yeah, is same it, here. Any, anybody yeah. else having issues? Nope. I can see you. No. Okay. You know, he, he might just have to reload it. Oh, no, I dropped things. The baby. Can somebody punch that into stream chat for me real fast? I'm still not logged into our fucking Twitch. I am not either. Okay, so uh, we I memory serves we didn't really roll initiative for this. I uh, was kind of let letting everybody go. Tom, you still have control of your character, but I will remind you, there is nothing in there currently of the rational Gwen. There is only <coughs> rage, the raging, mounting, seething anger that is built up over your many years of life, over being mistreated and pushed at your father's hands, all erupting, all bubbling to the surface all at once, and the only desire flowing through your veins like lightning is to kill. Now again, I don't actually want the player characters to die, but I will make them earn it, and I won't stop you from ripping Adam limb from limb. So, we will begin with Leander. Leander, I believe you had followed your mother, Maria, out into the... Uh, the central hall of the keep as the door comes tumbling down and you are filled with the image of what very well might be your brother what very well might not monstrous either way uh, well last thing I remember is I was trying to consult the Libra Yovai as to what to do if there was uh, yes. anything I could I could do and it told me try not to die ah uh, yes okay. a bit of a dick move on his part but uh, understandable advice. It's not easy to take down a, a recently shifted werewolf. In that case, the Libra Yovai will pipe up once more and say to you, that creature, that monster, that's not your brother, not yet. He's lost himself in the rage. But it's not permanent. If you can outlast him, if you can just survive... Quick, wish me back to my home planet. 
then perhaps there is hope for you yet. So, I told everybody to run. If I, I'm pretty sure I did that. And uh, the, I don't know if the wolf got in sight or not. By wolf, I, I mean Xavier's character. I did not. I was hiding in the garden. This guy's in your scent. Mm-hmm. How much awareness do I have, having kind of been raised to assume I would be a werewolf someday? Would I, I know what kind of triggers the first change? Uh, uh, let's go with an intelligence to... occult roll. I can do that. And we're going to call this a seven. You're not ignorant of it, but has it been explained to you at length? Probably not. <coughs> no. A seven, right? Yes. Thoth, the worst outcome is me handing Josh a character sheet. <laughs> I got four successes. And if it had been a six, I would have had six successes. All right, so you would know that not everybody becomes a werewolf, obviously. Some people are relegated to live their lives as kinfolk. For those who do, there's some superstition behind it. Uh, It depends on tribe. Obviously, the, the Silver Fangs like to talk about how Falcon and Luna will pick the best from their numbers and elevate them. Uh, But usually it's just coming of age. You know, it's kind of like werewolf puberty. Eventually (laughs) your, the the two halves of your being become one in a very violent reaction. And when it first dawns on you, yeah. And when it first (laughs) dawns on you, it's not usually something that the person can control to be dumped on with all the spiritual rage is, He's basically riding a hurricane right now. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, player in? knowledge. I, I know. I just wanted to know the limitations of what my character would know. But I am aware of the idea of rage, right? Yeah, absolutely. Even if I don't have access to rage and gnosis yet, because I haven't mm-hmm. changed. Right. Yeah. You just go, ah, <laughs> you get stronger. Yeah, we have to turn <laughs> doing that. So Leander's kind of standing, Libra Yovi in hand, probably trying to put himself... In between his brother and the rest of his family. Yusuf. Hi, Yusuf. Oh, oh yes. great. This guy. Huddle, huddle. <laughs> All right, do you actually want to take an action this turn? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to call upon... Not call upon, but... <laughs> ara, ara. I'm basically going to grab the Levi, Libra Yovi and just kind of smack myself in the face with it as hard as I can trying to remember all my father's belittlements and the times that he threw books at me, as well as the feelings of inadequacy I got when he favored Leander over myself. Not Leander, when he favored Gawain over myself. And basically try to force pull some rage out of myself, trying to force the change in myself. That's really interesting. Now, I, I, I don't think canonically that's something you can do. Uh, the closest you could, well, hang on. The closest you could do to that is like the uh, the skin dancer thing to actually make yourself change. Now, however, uh, if you remember last session, Garrett did say that the kin fetches were coming. You do know that your time is also upon you. This could be really interesting. Why don't you? Hey, guy. That's Anae, baby. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Hi, Anae. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you give me a strength melee against yourself? I'm, I'm Dash your head in with a book. Yeah, just Eat smashing it. my face with the book, remembering my worst memories and just kind of... It's like, Luna Falcon, if you're listening, now's the time to do something before one of us takes out the rest of us. Just eat shit and knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> I got two successes. Okay. Do you dodge? Roll the soap. <laughs> uh, does he have uh, a... Two successes again. ...against himself? So, basically what happened is Leander standing there amidst this, this guru is beating himself in the face with his own book. Uh... 
perhaps some of the uh, the servants think you're trying to take your fate into your own hands. <laughs> but we'll, we'll 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 come back to you. Uh, Elizabeth Van Constantine is currently cowering underneath the covers of her bed as she was previously. So, you know, good role playing, Adam. Good job. Good job, you. What's she gonna do? Cry? Pee your pants, maybe? Make a daisy chain. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, sorry, forgot to mute the mic. Um, Adam's technically the healer. He's gonna have to show up for some sessions. <laughs> Lucius. With a horrible crushing noise, the movable wall that the humans have to sort of block out the rest of their wall has completely tumbled. And this enormous apex predator now stands leering at what is essentially a barrel of fish. What are you going to do? It has paid no attention to you so far. Huh. <laughs> well, I don't want to push my luck. What age are the characters? Uh, I don't remember I'm, off the top of my head. If you want to... two. <laughs> I think I went with like 16 or 17, since that's around the time the change should be happening. And then Adam's character is around like 12 to 14. And then... Gawain is 22? Give or take. He's a late bloomer. <laughs> Sweet teen romance. <laughs> uh, the yeah, time where they're first starting to write romances. <laughs> the romance of the Three Kingdom? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... Ah, oh, shit. No, uh, I, I can't. I can't risk it. Oh, this is one of the few times you're facing an opponent with no nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what does have to be done? What hope is there? Your stepfather warned you about this. <laughs> it's like Superman and his kryptonite. You've lost your powers. It's like this, kid, this, this fighter has no nuts. I cannot win. <laughs> He's countered my every move. He's countered my one move. <laughs> uh, Still yeah, technically I'm gonna, all of them. I'm just gonna lie in wait and hope for an exit. Okay, when you say lie in wait, are you hiding? Are you waiting to pounce? Uh, are yeah, you... I'm gonna hide. Okay, uh, let's do deck stealth then. Gonna behide. Sneaky, hmm. sneak. Uh, but can you hide your scent? Uh, I don't know if I can hide my scent. Not natural, not magically, anyways. But that's all from the garden. <laughs> Hi, shiny mealing. What's going on, shiny? <laughs> Adam's oh, not here. <laughs> Just keeps regressing. Last session, he didn't have his sheet. This time, he didn't have himself. Okay, I really don't want to. I don't want to shit on him too much because we really don't know he, if if he is like mangled in a ditch somewhere. I don't want to like look back on this episode and just look at how much we crapped on him the whole time. I I told you how I feel. I feel I mean, <laughs> bad that he uh, that you know something bad happened to him, but then not as bad because he should have fucking said something. Uh, so <laughs> if he, how is he gonna communicate if he's unconscious, Xavier? Do you want him to astral project into the fucking Discord? Or something, man. Like he... the jet, baby. <laughs> uh, how'd you do on the the hide roll? Three, three. Okay, you hunker down in the grass, sort of in the vegetable patch where the herbs are grown, and in the silver moonlight, you're not quite sure how well you're hidden. But you definitely damn well know that you're drawing much less attention to yourself than the horses that are going ape shit in the stables right now. And the the sort of herd animals in the pen. So, you're at least third on the list, and that's about as good as you can get at the moment. Gwen Van Constantine! Kill! Destroy! Okay. Well... 
So, what's the scene ahead of me right now? Besides okay. watching, you know, Leander just, you know, try to brain himself. So, Leander, <laughs> Leander's trying to brain himself. Your mother, Maria, is trying to step forward to, like, shield her children as much as she can. Uh... Were you cognizant at the moment, you would immediately notice that none of your servants seem to be affected by the delirium, implying that your father hired entirely kinfolk. Uh, but they are currently experiencing pants-shitting terror, as with eyes the size of dinner plates, they, they sort of back themselves uh, towards the wall that separates... Uh, the kitchen and the one bedroom from the main hall. Oh, Chaz, by the way, uh, Xavier already got one vote for player for the XP of the night. <laughs> Fluffy lupus. I mean, shiny's not wrong. I am pretty goddamn proud of you. I'm not gonna <laughs> we haven't opened voting yet, so you'll have to vote again. You, you're just saying in the fucking herb. Just like... <laughs> on your bag just rolling back and forth <laughs> uh, god damn I'm cutting me I do not ask who is the good boy I know it's already me <laughs> day straw how's it going day straw. the day straw finally arrives to stream again no he showed up last time but weren't we already leaving I don't remember. Anyways, kill something. Well, okay. From where I'm at right now, on a clock, what directions are everyone and the bedroom? I did mention I interposed myself between Gawain and everybody else. You Hi, did? Michelle. You did. But your mother's not just going to stand there while you do that. So... <laughs> are you are you actually like what do you want to do to try to protect her do you want to like I'm actually... basically I'm basically trying to interpose myself and pull rage out of myself somehow okay just be like I told you to run mother Daystra uh you know we actually did discuss that uh, but it's it's been decided on the lolly. Uh, how's it going, Vasil? Uh, you have not missed terribly much of anything yet. So on a clock, considering twelve o'clock is directly ahead. So basically, essentially, what is happening at sharply twelve is Leander and your mother Maria trying to jockey to protect one another. And then we'll say at about two o'clock is probably the bedroom door. To where your sister Elizabeth now cowers. Uh, at maybe nine is the door to the kitchen that is currently empty, and then you have Tomasia and your other three servants whose name escapes me that are kind of just evenly distributed through the hall. As at night, that is where the servants would have slept. So as they sort of like rise from their beds and just sort of slowly cower back. Your closest target, however, is definitely Leander slash your mom. Ah, I am both Leander and your mom. Shh. Plot That's... twist. There was no father all along. <laughs> uh, your dad blew town again, if you remember from last session. He just he just hears the 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 the, the crying the, the the rage and the blood. He's just like, yeah, they're gonna be okay. <laughs> ah, network error. Ah, uh, my stream is still good. So. Well. Mine's still going pretty good. I guess I'll charge 12 o'clock then. 12 o'clock. Okay. What are you going to do? Her name is Maria. It's Maria. Shiny Mewy, that the is my dude. lovely fiance Raven. Uh, she is hanging out with us tonight. Uh, Adam is not here, so... I already made the weeaboo quota joke. Hello, hello. 
She's not playing actually a character, though. She's just here to nerd with us. I am just a spectator. All right, Gwen. So what's the what's the plan? What are you doing? Are you? I said I'm charging twelve o'clock. You're charging, yes. What do you do when you get to twelve o'clock? Well, claws, fist, bites, uh, upending the floorboards. Sure, you can. Swinging around a table. Well, I was planning on like, like, just like uh, uh I was like, ah, oh, what the fuck is the clotheslining someone with my hand? You're gonna close to the floor. Them. Okay. Give me a strength plus brawl difficulty seven. And I will remind you that you have plus four strength in Krynos form. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Let's see. Where's my brawl? <laughs> am I playing Adam's little girl? No. <laughs> I am not Vizel. Okay, Yusuf, watch this. Do you want to play Adam's little girl? I, no, I'm okay. <laughs> there you go. I am really bad at these games. Leave me alone. <laughs> All you have to do is be a little girl. <laughs> Kawaii Lily. I'm yeah. okay. <laughs> Daystra, to tell you the truth, like, I kind of got used to how fucking weird Sonic looked when they released the, the poster. Honestly, I don't think it'll be that horrible. Do I think it'll be good? No. Don't misquote me. I just don't think it'll be the worst thing ever. I'll probably watch it out of sheer morbid curiosity. What, the Sonic thing? The Sonic trailer. For the movie. Oh, it looks bad. No thanks. <laughs> uh, Shiny Mewi is requesting that Raven actually play Raven, as in Spirit Raven. Oh, I thought you meant that's so a Raven. No, no. <laughs> I thought you meant Ravens and Teen Titans. Oh, oh, like Raven, like Falcon Spirit, Raven Spirit, Boom Boom Chicka Boom Boom One, the War Spirit. Vasil, you can play pretend wrong. We get told we play pretend wrong all the time. Yep. Raven, can you role play Adam? What was it? Seven. 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 I mean, we both get along pretty well in Azure, we're both leaves, so that's five not hard success. to do, I think. Five successes. Okay. Let's see what happens on a damage roll. Ooh. 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 Sad ooh. <laughs> Sad ooh. Okay, what's what's the modifier for this? Your strength? Yeah. Is it just, just straight strength? Yeah, you're not using claws or anything. So it's okay. just kind of like a fist. Yeah. Okay. And then you're at Krino, so it's plus four. Oh, I'm aware. And then big dick energy, so another plus four. <laughs> you mean no dick? Uh, but still, we are of the mind that you cannot play pretend wrong. But we are in the minority. Uh. Well, we, we if you didn't know, we are we are jokingly referencing to people who who watch the stream or the actual plays and say we're playing the game wrong or people who watch the how not to's and assume that we're serious about it which happens more often than you'd like to think <laughs> the diff is six now right yes sir okay one two three four ooh, five six 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 Leander rolled a soak. Oh! Die. I was letting Charlie cho choose who I hit. And he no, one success. One success. Okay, so here's what oh. happened. Oh! oh. Were you already down too? No, no, no. You, you guys are forgetting that you're fucking werewolves. And I got this, okay? Trust the ST. Yo, what up? We've been doing this for years. No, you, can stop. Don't know we're yet. You, you can stop. <laughs> the storyteller director. So here's what happens. Uh, Leander, braining yourself in the book. Pow, pow, pow. All of a sudden, this huge shadow falls over you. The light filtering through your eyelids just goes black. As you open them for one second, there's this giant 
silver log that goes sweeping across you and your mother. And with this crack, it is like being hit by, by the fist of God himself. You feel yourself lifted off the ground. Your mother goes flying in another direction. You are pelted against the stone wall of the keep. And everything just sort of fades to black. <laughs> well, that was a good story, guys. <laughs> Hang on. Give me a second. I'm glad you guys joined us for the stream. We'll see you next week. We have to kill Josh's character off because, uh, you know, he's got work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly your eyes open. Okay, and my eyes were open, but okay. No, I'm talking to... Leander, <laughs> we, have, we have transitioned back to his turn. Your eyes open, and you find yourself in a long, dark hallway. It is clear, clear, clearly made of human masonry, bricks. There's very little light. There's a torch that gutters in in a cold breeze. And it's, it's weakening, dying light feebly presses back the shadows around it. And at the end of a hallway, there's a door. Cracked slightly, and with a much stronger orange light spilling out from the door. Do I have time to react, or are we going back around? Oh, what do you do? Oh, no. Uh, I'm obviously weirded out point. about what's happening. Remembering the last thing that happened. I'm going to go and kind of tentatively open the door. Okay. You begin to approach the door. And... With every step, the hallway seems longer. More foreboding. As you draw closer, there's this feeling that comes over you. It's not quite dread. It's some kind of malaise. Some sort of sickening wrongness. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, Just letting you know. Announcements of new additions alongside VTM 5E? Not yet. We do know that Onyx Path is working on Depending on how you interpret something that Matthew Dawkins said, they are working on more projects than what they have announced currently. It remains to be seen. Anyway. You reach the door. And as you pull open the door, you hear a crack. And you realize... It's the sound of skin against skin. <laughs> what the hell? Did we lost the video feed? We lost S. Oh god damn it. Yeah. Um Okay, well, anyway. Well, Clockwork Sorcerer, how's it going, Clockwork? Glad you're here. Uh, what a terrible night to have a you. curse. No, he can. Oh. Uh, our, our stream is still live. We've just lost the video feed because what happens is right now everybody's <laughs> tucked behind Adam's lolly. <laughs> now, I'm gonna we're going to roll with this for a little bit because if I, re, if I move the cameras around... When X comes back, I'm going to have to reset everything. We might as well just do it with this. When you tug open the door, you look into a very familiar room. It's your bedroom. There are two figures. One is very clearly your father. He cuts an imposing silhouette against the flickering hearth fire that lights the room. Before him, crumpled on the floor, is a much smaller figure, a boy of maybe ten years old. 
And as you focus, as your eyes adjust to the light, it looks like Gwen. Your father's voice echoes, but it sounds far off. It sounds almost like it's underwater. You can't quite make out the words. And as you sort of take stock of your scenery, you realize that this hallway that you're in, the door that you're currently looking through shouldn't be there. This is where the wall that sort of ends the keep is. Indeed, you look right across to where the door to the Great Hall should be, and you see that that door is also cracked slightly. Would you give me a uh, perception alertness roll, please? Yes. Two successes. Two successes. There's no light coming from the hall currently. It's some late hour. And, you know, Garrett pushing Gawain into the late hours of the night isn't necessarily unheard of, but where's your family? Where's the servants? You do see another face as you study the crack in the door. The the flickering torchlight just barely illuminates a sliver of flesh as peering in through the crack is another small child. And you realize it's you. You are looking at your younger self, watching in on Garrett and Gawain as Gawain delivers another savage kick, or as Garrett delivers a savage kick to Gawain's ribs, and bids him to stand once again as he wobbles on a sword that he can barely heft. And as you look across to yourself, your counterpart, the tears welling up in one 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 tiny eye, this look of fear, this look of helplessness on his face, what do you do? What do I do? As in, what does a child me do, or what does me looking at this do? What does you, current adult okay. you, that you are in control of do? Well, this is interesting. He probably yells at his younger self to say, and just yells, say something or do something, damn it. You can't swear in this household. This is a Christian server. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing werewolf. This is a pagan server. <laughs> you yell out to yourself. And again, Garrett's chastising voice is is warped, is distorted. It sounds underwater and far away. But your voice comes across crystal clear. And you can see, even though Garrett and Gwen don't seem to notice you, the tiny little eye across the room widens in fear as it flicks over in your direction. Thank you, Clockwork Sorcerer. You are awesome. It studies Yo. you intently, fearfully. You can see the door shake ever so slightly as the hands clutching onto it begin to tremble. Oh, you ask me what I'm going to do next? Yeah. Okay. Enter the little body. <laughs> Enter the small boy. <laughs> you gotta pay the troll's toll. <laughs> That's what I was thinking as soon as I said that. Uh, Danny DeVito is my spirit guide. <laughs> Oh man, can can he be your totem from now on? Danny DeCito? The the trash <laughs> man. I'm pretty sure Danny DeVito's a worm totem. Yeah. Who's our who's who's uh who's the pack totem we picked? Uh, Was it Eagle. Vulture? Eagle. Eagle? 
I want I want Eagle Totem to appear to us in human form as a majestic Danny DeVito. Yeah, <laughs> with like long with flowing hair. I'm the no. evil spirit. No, I want him to look exactly like he does in his Frank Reynolds. That's majestic, Danny you DeVito. Mean Danny DeVito. Yeah. Well, no. If you look at Danny DeVito today, outside of the show, he just looks old. Oh yeah. He kind of looks at his younger self and he says, "He's gonna kick you anyway. You might as well just take one of those kicks for your brother." <laughs> you can see the fear sort of fade away. His eyes widen, his brow furrows into understanding. I know what I must do. And as that happens... He goes hit brains himself with a book. <laughs> you see a hand sort of land on the little boy's shoulder. Delicate, feminine, lithe, it's not your mother's. And the little boy, you, sort of nods as the hand gently pulls him away. I don't recognize the hand as my mother's, or uh, I don't recognize it as anything else I'm familiar with. You know, it's definitely not one of the servants. You're being kidnapped. <laughs> yeah, little did we know, Luna is a uh, <laughs> snatch. <laughs> we cannot hear you, buddy. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Is there no end? It is. It is a miracle that we are. Can you hear me now? Yes, thank God. Realizing that my father and my brother can't hear me or seem to see me, I'm going to walk to the other door and try to see who took me away. Okay. You walk across. Gwen and you. Garrett. Gwen and Garrett pay no attention to you. What else is new? <laughs> As you pull open the door on the other side of the room, the flickering torch light, or the flickering hearth light, sort of envelops your vision. And for a second, all is orange flame. Your eyes adjust to the brightness. And you're standing on a hilltop. And for miles all around you, the grasslands, the trees, the forests, the mountains, everything is ablaze. Smoke rises and blots out the sky, fulminating with this horrible orange light. We shall blot out the sun. So much the better. And I don't see you. I don't see, I'm assuming I don't see myself or the woman who took me. Not yet. But the flames flicker near you ever so slightly. You feel a cool breeze on your back. And you realize you're not alone. I'm going to turn around and see if there's anybody behind me then. As you turn... There is indeed a woman standing behind you. She's pale, but her skin seems to radiate with a light from deep within the core of her being. Elfin thin, her face framed by these long platinum tresses that fall down to her ankles. Garbed in a plain yet undoubtedly finely crafted robe. And she looks at you. Her eyes are heavy with knowing, with understanding. You feel as though she's seen everything you've seen. She knows everything you know. She's held every hardship that you've ever carried on your shoulders. And as your eyes meet, she extends that pale, lithe hand that touched your younger self on your shoulder and holds it out to you.
I'm gonna grab it and kind of sarcastically say, please tell me all the beatings were worth something. She sort of smiles, shuts her eyes, and she presses her forehead to yours. Your eyes snap open once again. And all you can feel is rage. Lucius Camillus, you're hiding in the grass. And what was once the howl of a predator has turned into some sort of monstrous chorus of snarls and roaring bestial cries. Okay. <laughs> Just start digging a deeper hole. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not a whole lot to do in this situation. Just using your paws to kind of cover yourself. <coughs> I can't be turned to dust if I'm already dust. Um. Shit. <laughs> 200% dust. Uh, I, I don't want to be here. But there's nowhere to go. And now I hear more of them. Hmm. What is one to do? Rat row. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Run for the kitchen. That tends to go well. Just run to the rabbit warren and just start digging him out. Just like, get out of the way, I'm hiding here. I'm trying to sneak around. But I'm dummy thick. <laughs> uh... Funny you should say that, Daystrip, because uh, Adam's played a werewolf Scooby Doo before. Many a year ago. Ah. Uh... I don't, I don't want to leave, but I know I can't stay. Well, also, isn't the front gate locked? Yeah, the the gate to the keep is closed. I don't know what a lock is. I'm going to try to dig under it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's call this an extended roll. How about uh, Dexterity Athletics? And please do not forget the... Uh, Adjustments from your lupus form. Yeah. Diff. We'll call it a standard six. It's extended anyway. Oh, so close. Uh, that's four successes. Four successes. Panicking. For your life. The, the, the fight-or-flight response is hammering in your head like a drum, uh, and the uh, uncommon intelligence that you seem to possess lately is screaming, run. You bolt for the wooden moving walls that the humans seem to be able to get in and out with and just start pounding at the dirt, digging your claws in, and you're just able to get a divot when Gwen. Van Constantine. Again, knowing nothing but rage, you swept your arm across the two nearest targets. Your mother flying one way, Leander flying another. And again, your Gwen himself would not be able to comprehend what's going on. The wolf mind recognizes only another threat, but what you would see if you were cognizant would be Leander hit the wall, slump down, and immediately his eyes open, gritting not human teeth, but bestial fangs, as his body twists, as his muscles bulge, as he grows, dwarfing his own former size by half of himself. I recognize that bulge. <laughs> and now there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> team up team up <laughs> <laughs> now we attack the little girl under the sheets 
Uh, yes, this is how we induce, you know, the change. I was going to say Tom Wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> the only actual Garou that was present at the keep was their dad, who's off doing Garou stuff. So, yeah, there's nobody here right now besides them to deal with this. Naughty Crumbum, how you doing? Boy, I would like to point out, we did take Wishbone as a... Actually, we were able to take all of them, weren't we? Yes, we were able to take all of them. Because we have enough Gnosis as a group. Uh, yeah. And then we also get personal ones that we're supposed to come up with ourselves. Because we, we have... Laser beams. <laughs> I make my laser beams. Oh, so we're going to Wishbone Adam's character. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure, did you just make a wishbone reference? <laughs> to be fair, Glenn, uh, in the last session, uh, Garrett, their father, was told that kinfetches were on their way. Uh, people were going to actually bring them to the cairn. They didn't. Ex he didn't expect this to kick off this soon. Probably was negligent on his part, however. <laughs> Gee, what a surprise. Father being negligent? <laughs> Oh, ho, say it ain't so. The big twitch is actually a really, a really protective father, but he knew that this was the only way to get us prepared. <laughs> also, uh... Nah, I'm just kidding. Leander, would you <laughs> <He> roll... <sucks. laughs> would you roll your rage for me, please, real fast? Uh, standard difficulty? Yes. One success. Five and a nine. You only have two rage? Yep, I'm the Theurge. Yeah. Fair, fair enough, dog. All right, heal one of your uh, your bashing levels. Oh. What was I at? I think you took five. Okay. Well. I'm doing a okay. Well. Now there's a problem here, and uh, I think there's only one way to fix it, is to make it not a problem. How connected is their tribe in this setting? Um, fairly, actually, but again, they're, the people that were supposed to bring them to the Cairn have not shown up yet. So nobody really expected this to happen immediately. They were in two days' time. They were supposed to board the carriage that would take them to the cairn, and then all hell broke loose. So what are you gonna do, Gwen? So, well, I guess I'll pound hunt. Okay. On um, you know the the new threat that has arisen. Do it. Take your swing. Do it. Bring it. Leaping rake. <laughs> Leaping rake style. Okay. So. Uh. Diff is still what? Uh. Standard six for attacks. Okay. Uh, Leander, since you didn't really make a, an action last turn, you're operating on instinct right now. I'm going to say you can try to dodge this one. Oh boy, and I have an expanded pool now. I got five successes. Not doing as well as I should. I got two to move out of the way. Okay, so you're going to roll strength plus two, Tom. <coughs> Strength two plus the two. Oh, ooh, that's that's. Ew. It's a number. That's that's a number. That's a number of dice. Do you want to die? I mean, there's gonna be plenty of die. It's okay. If worst comes to worst, I get one free revive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not me personally. Just that werewolf thing we get. Yeah. Well, I rolled five successes, but I got two ones! <laughs> it's 
so three? Yeah. Okay, so Leander, uh, Gwen's claws rake across your chest for three. Uh, do werewolves take ag from werewolves? Yes, werewolf claws are aggravated. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll st fiat that later, but for now you can take three ag. Oh, growl snar. <laughs> I'm not looking so hot. Okay, well. If everyone has ag damage, no one has ag damage. <laughs> on your turn, you immediately heal another uh, bashing level. So now I'm just at three ag. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to die. You oh, wait, sure you're I'm going not. To die. I'm, no, I'm not. Like no way, no. I. Oh yeah, I can spend rage, can I? You. And could. if I spend all my rage, then I become normal again, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I'm I'm still giving them that uh, that rage revive. I mean, you can spend rage if you really want to be a dick. I won't stop you, but uh... if you just want to end this right now, because <laughs> we're like we're like two two episodes in, right? And like the 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 bench yeah. marker that we're going for is like four episodes, but this looks like it's gonna be a little longer. So just cut it right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of this campaign. I'm just gonna do here. <laughs> well, this is the point where uh, Tom's Inquisitor comes in and takes down his werewolf. <laughs> Yay! I, I love think we're guy. like a couple hundred years too early now. Oh yeah. Uh, are you spending rage, Tom? No. Okay. Uh, Let's go. Father comes home with another kid in the bag, which is Josh's new character. <laughs> I got plenty of these, so just, uh, you know. All right, Leander. You can feel sort of this static electricity come over your skin. There's a voice, a familiar voice, trying to reach out to you. But damned if you can understand what it's saying right now. You're pissed off. This thing just attacked you. What are you going to do? I'm going for the throat. Bite his nuts off. <laughs> Basically, it is a frenzy, Glenn. I'm just letting them control it for funsies. Because otherwise, I would have to take them completely out of control of the scene. And that's not fun for everybody, so... Oh, man. If our mom's not dead, she's freaking out right now. <laughs> she's got two werewolf sons. It's like super puberty. Oh, man. Imagine Adam's character just changes for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then mom has her first change. Everyone gets their change tonight. Oh yeah, mom. The, the our mom gets her first change. She just pulls us both by our werewolf ears, tells us to stop. No, she scruffs us. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want me to roll for the bite? Is it uh? You're going in for a bite. Uh, yeah, I'm. Bite for that's the throat. A lot, that's a lot of nair. I don't know. Tom, how do you feel about nairs? Do you think your character's good at them? Uh. That depends on whose nair it's based off of. Uh, just, we'll go ahead and do another, uh, dex brawl. Okay. Just for fun, I'm gonna willpower this, because I need to stop him somehow, and he's probably going to kill me. Diff 4 plus 2 for aim shot? Is that, is that 20th anniversary edition, Glenn? Wait, for what? Well, Glenn is uh, giving him a name shot for the throat. I'm using a maneuver from uh, W20 that I'm deliberately modifying just for this. Ah. No worries, buddy. Well, I got four successes, including the willpower. Okay, so you're trying to, like, pin him to the throat? 
Yes. That is a very tactical decision for a frenzied Krynos, but I will totally allow it since you're operating on instinct. All right. Well, that's also what wolves do for each other. They right. go for vital parts. I assume I'm under him. He's clawing at me. Smart thing. Well, not smart thing. Animal thing. Go for the nuts. Jaw on the throat. That's you. Okay, four the successes. has no nuts. Yes. Go ahead and roll strength plus three. And I believe werewolf teeth are what? Plus one X or plus three? Um, plus one. And does aggravated damage. Plus one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three. You said, did you say it was regular damage X? Egg. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure fangs do egg. All right. Yeah. Tom, three egg. I don't get to... No, no soaking. You just die. Not uh, egg. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know if you can soak it. You could so he, he could soak it if he had armor, but considering that Gawain ran out in his bed clothes, not currently. Uh, he okay, could soak egg re- with straight stamina, Glenn? I think you can. I think werewolves are pretty beefy that way. I was just wondering because you let Josh try to soak. Did I? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Roll it. Do it. Well, I I, I soaked the uh, I, I soaked the armbar. I don't think you let me soak the claws. Yeah, the the claws. I thought I just took off of them. Yeah, because I don't remember rolling anything for that one. Daystra says, "Just flick him on the nose. <laughs> Hit him with the newspaper." <laughs> Okay, wait. So, <laughs> okay. Okay. So, wait, do we or don't soak okay, egg? I'm confused now. I mean, honestly, this is kind yes. of an exhibition fight anyway, but go ahead. Uh, you know what? I won't soak this one if Josh didn't soak my first one, but the next ones we should then. Okay. Boop. All right, Lucius, there's some kind of fucking fight going on inside. Uh, you're going to keep trying to dig under the gate? Uh, yeah, I don't want to be here. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright, give me the Dex Athletics roll again. Woohoo! But if we're both at 3 egg, we are now tit for tat. <laughs> yeah, you tit <said> tit. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Three. That will- three? So, with eight successes on the extended roll, you have hollowed out a sort of bevel where you can just sort of get your head and maybe some of your neck underneath. Uh, I hope this goes long enough to where he can escape and we never see his character again. Oh, that'd be fucking <laughs> Give fun. me a dex athletics to try and squeeze through. Well, this is the part where it turns out her dad was waiting on the other side, and he just scruffs him and opens the gate and puts him back uh, in. Much better. One, no, he just two, throws three, him four, over five. the gate. <laughs> or, five. Or so, scratch him, throws him into the fucking hall. That's what I was thinking. Throws him into the hall, closes door. I mean, the, he picks up the door, puts it back on. <laughs> <laughs> so panicking, you scramble, twisting your body in unnatural angles to force yourself under the hole. You escape the keep. What do you do? Yeah. Sigh of relief. <laughs> I didn't know I knew what relief was. Do you turn back and pee on the door? Uh, no, but I'm going to cover that hole up. <laughs> okay. What happens after you cover the hole? Well, then I guess I'll... I'll leave. You're just fucking no off into the countryside? Yeah, no reason for me to stay. Shit. These people kidnapped me, and I, mean, I guess they gave me some food. I don't even know what kidnapping was. I guess I'll go well, try to kind of find my real you. family. But Xavier, we are your real family. No, no, you just, you just kidnapped me. <laughs> I'm gonna go be with my blood relatives. 
your glorious Hoshido family brought you back <laughs> <evil one. laughs> Well, again, Glenn, I'm not super enforcing the rules for this since it's just kind of a prelude sort of thing anyway. So what happens is this is the part of the movie where the camera just sort of focuses in on Lucius Camillus as taking one last look at the keep he books ass into the wilderness. And the camera fades to black. <laughs> okay, X, make a new character. <laughs> Uh, I would like Gwen and Leander to both give me stamina rolls, please. Oh, boy, I have that. I have some now that I'm a wolf. <laughs> oh, that's right. I have even more now. Thanks for reminding me. Good job, Vassil. You figured it out. <laughs> Three successes. Actually, I'm missing dice. That is just Scotland. That, the, the larger version of, of that picture oh! is the entire British Isles. That's seven successes. Seven successes. Okay. Yeah. How many did you get, <laughs> Josh? Uh, th three. I think I got three. Yeah, three. I rolled it good. I rolled it super good. Gwen. You open your eyes, and there is sunlight streaming through the ruined door to the keep, which now lays in flinders and several pieces upon the floor. Your bedclothes are effectively tatters at the moment, strips of fabric clinging to your frame sodden with blood you reach up to your neck to feel wet wounds that even as you you press your fingers to them close beneath your touch touch. Oh, okay i don't know if you were still going on or not appreciate the patience does that mean he gets to write that down on his battle scars for his character sheet? Oh, yeah. If you want, that'd be cool. That is ag damage. You get those sweet scars. Oh, man. So many scars. <laughs> Just fucking werewolf teeth marks on the neck. Let the chat play the characters of absent players. That would be fantastic if it, if it wouldn't take forever because of the delay. Yeah, you know, kind of like how Fish play Street Fighter. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I guess I'll stand up and try to figure out what the hell is going on around me. As you stand up, the front hall of the keep is an absolute abattoir. We were we were raided. <laughs> The servants... Yeah, go got the Saracens. <laughs> they made it. The servants, your mother, have been completely ripped to shreds. Pieces of them hither and yon across the floor. You look, you see Leander covered in blood. Very, very nearly almost naked like yourself. Appears to be in one piece, though. And as, as your eyes widen and you, you take a second to see if he's still breathing, Leander begins to stir. <laughs> I'm assuming my chip. Battle scars to impress future waifus. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to look all cockooey. Well, we're all going to get waifus at some point, isn't that right, Leander? I do have the proper rituals. I have to turn this game into Fire Emblem ritual. <laughs> so many waifus. Uh, so I'm imagining I see the same scene, right? Pretty much everybody but the two of us is dead. You, you are sort of viewing the room from the other side. And from your perspective, 
in sort of a, a haunting bit of poetic irony. The door to the bedroom is cracked, and your tiny little sister stares out, wide-eyed, shaking at the horror show that her home has just turned into. <laughs> oh, how did you survive? <laughs> Excellent question. Well, I'm, I'm going to live the rest probably... of my life wondering what Adam would have done if he was here. <laughs> probably would get himself killed. <laughs> that is uh, a very good point. That would have been pretty funny. Well, that's one person safe. I'm looking for the other important person being our character's mother, Maria. Well, she's around. <laughs> You find her. Amidst the smashed remains of one of the hall's table, her torso violently flattened as if something heavy might have landed on her in some sort of great scuffle. Perhaps even a kerfuffle. She stares up with unblinking eyes into the sunlight that streams onto her face from the high keep windows. I'm just going to kind of like slowly close her open eyes and just addressing uh, Gawain without looking at him, just kind of like I tried to stop you and I'm worried I might have made things worse. Wow, I can't wait to be the the uh, the group's uh it's like psychologist. <laughs> no, we're gonna go live at your family now. Yeah. <laughs> like so, uh, how do you guys yes, feel yes. about killing your mother? Pretty, you're gonna be pretty bummed out. I get it. Just a wolf psychologist. Have you tried smelling his butt to see how he feels? <laughs> Did you feel like a good boy that day? <laughs> Well, Gawain is going to try to usher uh, Elizabeth back into the bedroom to try to, you know, keep her from seeing the scene. Okay. As you turn to her, she seems to look at you with no small amount of deep-seated fear. How do you try to usher her in? Uh, slowly and calmly. Okay. Like you know, approaching like a Torn like clothes, <laughs> like like approaching a prey animal. Give me a charisma empathy. I have charisma. <laughs> but you have You're no a empathy. glorious leader. I do have empathy. Ah. You'll, we'll get some empathy from you. <laughs> we'll get no sympathy from me. Uh, what's the diff? Six. Six, okay. That's two, two successes. All right. As you slowly urge her into the room, you can see her face begin to tremble slightly. And as tears slowly begin to roll down, coming faster and faster. Oh man, did she actually watch everyone get murdered? The little girl's expression breaks as she and flees, she changes as she flees into the room, slamming the door behind her. Well, well, that's for the best, I suppose. I'm going to look for the Libra Yovi and try to ask it what happened after I pretty much went out mentally. The Libra Yovi is thankfully in one piece. You find it discarded to the corner of one room. Stained much like the rest of the accoutrements of the house underneath a collapsed table as you pull it up. 
you heft to the book. And it says simply, well, you did as I said. You outlasted his rage. The others weren't so lucky, it seems. Wait, do I hear him ask the book? <laughs> um... I, I think so. Well, uh, we can we can kind of talk about that, Josh. How do you think you communicate with Libriova? Probably openly talking to it or vocalizing what I say to it. I don't know if everybody else hears it. I don't think the Libriova would actually talk physically in the the physical sense. It probably uses some kind of telepathy to speak with you. Yeah. Well, when I do speak to it, I'm probably speaking to it in ancient Greek. Okay. Considering I know the I know Greek and Latin. Uh, you hear him speaking Greek to something. You don't know. It's all Greek to you. <laughs> You're speaking that awful tongue of the invaders. <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> I'm going to step out into the courtyard and see what happened to the of their brother. Just see a hole. <laughs> Perception alertness. Two successes. Two successes. As you step into the courtyard, there's a cacophony of noises. As the horses sort of lose their shit in their stables, the livestock in the pens... Uh, sort of try and press away from you as far as they can. Sensing something planted deeply within you. With your two successes, you scan the yard for any source of Lucius and find only disturbed earth underneath the gate. So other than, uh, Elizabeth, nobody else survived, right? Nobody that was in the keep. So, you still have your livestock, you have your rabbit warrens, you have your two horses. There is no sign of the death of Lucius. It looks more like Lucius escaped. I'm going to go back into the keep and kind of uh, address Gawain and tell him that the, our wolf brother has made an escape. And that uh, I'm certain he's a better tracker than I am if he wants to go look for him because I'm going to have to bury everybody here myself. Hey, all right, Vasil. Uh, we're, it sucks to lose your buddy, but I hope you have a good one at work, man. Thanks for popping in for a couple minutes. Give Nelly our best as always. Goodbye. Bye, Bethel. Now, Leander, the sin falls upon my shoulders. You... You go find some way to distract yourself. Furious masturbation. <laughs> just, just multiple sad yanks. <laughs> Talk to you. Talk we to finally you. have privacy in here. Hey, could you imagine, like, your servant trying to teach you to do it? Just like, this is how you do it. Like, no, I can do it myself. <laughs> Leave the lard on the side. Well, it's probably for the best that my brother's going to bury everybody, because Leander's probably having a hard time looking at everything. So he's probably going to try to saddle his horse as freaked out as it is and try to get on it and look for Lucius. Do you have animal, Ken? Yes, I do. Okay. I was aware of the difficulty werewolves have in riding horses. boy. all right. I was also aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't have it. 
All right, so I won't make you roll for this, but how do you sort of <laughs> coax the horse? How do I coax the horse? Mm-hmm. I'm probably trying to do my best to calmly soothe it and make it calm down while trying to control the frustration that he's probably overwhelmed with with everything that happened that he wasn't able to stop. I imagine if I was so running many the whole, sugar cubes. I'd, I'd be in the goddamn uh, the Yamcha pose. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I got yamcha by my dad. <laughs> All right, you plumb the deepest reaches of the core of your being. You look for what little shreds of your determination have yet to fray. You're a goddamn Van Constantine, and that has to mean something. You slap the saddle on the horse, and you're able to soldier on. What's your plan? My plan is try to basically try to find any wolf tracks or anything leading away from the keep that I can to try to find Lucius. How's your survival cool. skill? How was my survival? Uh, that's a no. <laughs> All right, now we have some things to work with. How about your primal urge? Primal urge two. All right, give me perception primal urge. Two successes. I've been getting a lot of a lot of ones, but thankfully a lot of tens. You lead your horse to the gate and pull the gate open. Quite a bit difficult because usually your servants do this, but they're otherwise disposed. They're a little busy. <laughs> and as they're the gate busy. as the gate swings open. You realize something. It hits you like a ton of bricks, though you weren't able to realize it overcome as you were by your grief. Everything's so much more vivid now. The sunshine is brighter. The colors are more vibrant. The green of the trees are are deeper. You can hear the call of a bird, but there's not one in sight. And as you, as you breathe deeply of, of the air around you, there's so much more. There's so much more of a bouquet that you were never able to pick up on before. A milieu of scents that now greet your nose that previously you would not even have been able to imagine, let alone describe. And you sort of take a few tentative sniffs, processing the new information and there's something familiar you pick apart the many scents like like wound thread holding one in particular in your mind <laughs> lucius lucius camillus you bolted from the keep and booked ass into the wilderness. At some point when you felt you were safe, you probably just collapsed from exhaustion and slept beneath the tree. You awaken. It's light out. You have no fucking idea where you are. Things are similar. It's the same kinds of trees, the same kind of rocks, but you're not in any kind of territory that you recognize. Hmm. And <laughs> that's us. Ah. Hmm. Okay then. I guess I'll try to find my way towards water. Okay. How about Wits Primal Urge?
Two successes. Okay. You wander around for a bit, sort of trying to get a lay of the area. There's a small human village. Maybe you don't have a concept of distance. <laughs> There's a small human village, maybe slightly more than a day from the keep. Uh, trees everywhere as you traverse the landscape. And eventually, yes, you do find a shining blue creek cutting its way through the vivid green. Well then, I found water. I guess I'll follow it to food. <laughs> I will pee in it to let everybody know this water is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that. <laughs> okay. I probably smell pretty good, though. <laughs> Yeah, you're rolling around in the herbs, like you smell bitching. It, it's probably like hitting your oh, nose no. a little weird, because it's not it's not something you'd necessarily be used to. And every I once in a while, myself. Every every once in a while, you do that dog sneeze thing where you shake your head real hard. But uh... <laughs> I was gonna say you're you're covered in herbs and you smell like fresh mint. Like people might mistake you for a stargazer. <laughs> You're just gonna get bullied now. So, hey, look at that stargazer. What's he gonna do? Fight us? No. He's a loner. <laughs> he's 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 the, the the shy Mexican kid who's really good at math and always wears a hoodie. <laughs> Everybody's had that one kid in their class. And if you didn't, you were that one kid. <laughs> They all end up in UTEP's engineering program. Alright. Alright, you follow your way up the winding creek. Padding your way through the underbrush and eventually... A small heart, a small deer... Happens upon your field of vision. Ooh. Lowers its head to the water and drinks. I prepare myself. I love you, baby. Where there are a lot of laws against hunting and trapping, uh, depends on whose land you are on. Yeah, I think you have to be, uh, usually you have to be of some nobility in order to be able to hunt on specific lands. Luckily for them, all of this belongs to dear old dad, so they're pretty square. no, 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 no. <laughs> but I believe uh, they would give things like the offal and the entrails and whatnot to lower class people while they would smoke and roast the, the important cuts of meat for themselves. Uh, Leander, give me another perception primal urge. I also like to imagine that before I left, I probably put like a rabbit in like a sack to try to like your doggy doggy kind of thing <laughs> yeah no problem three successes this time three successes as you ride out from the keep it's it's so strange because you're being bombarded with all these new sensations at once yet at the same time you're getting the hang of it it's like it's always been a part of you you just never thought to use it you never knew you could it's like putting glasses on for the first time. You veer further into the forest. You eventually arrive at a creek. Lucius has been here. You can smell it, but... It smells like spearmint and dog. Wet dog. <laughs> that was my peepee. <laughs> What do you do now? I'm assuming I see no sight of him. Not currently, no. I'm going to kind of take the rabbit out of the sack. I'm just going to kind of 
throw it into the woods of where I'm smelling him and see if he kind of comes out and pounces on it. <laughs> Fitch. Well, I'm hoping he's still nearby and that he's going to be like, oh, free snack. Oh, oh boy. I'll give you this. And then I go Kratos and tackle him. Oh, boy, a Scooby snack. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Lucius, would you do it for a Lucius snack? I would like you both to give me opposed. Uh, Lucius, give me dexterity athletics. Leander, give me dexterity ride, and we'll see how far away you guys actually are from one another. One, two, three, four, five. I got a four. Ah. Okay. Uh, so Lucius, as you sort of hunker down and prepare to pounce, you hear like this soft thud and what seems to be a cry of an injured rabbit as, as the, the drinking heart suddenly bolts up in a panic and goes charging away into the forest. Son of a bitch. I well, just want to have the rabbit by the ears and just kind of swung it and threw it. <laughs> then I guess I'll oh just go, go get the easy meal. Uh, I was hoping for a red lobster, but I guess I'll have this deal settle with Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think that's an upgrade. That's fair. Red lobster has been kind of bad lately. Leander, there's movement I... through the brush in the direction of the rabbit, which is now running as fast as it can fucking that way. I was gonna say, I don't mind Red Lobster. I like the Admiral's Feast where they just take everything in the kitchen and deep fry it. Adam still hasn't shown up! If we were waiting for him, we would not have streamed tonight. Yeah, I don't know what, what the hell it? happened. It says he's online on Facebook, and I've tried messaging him like three times, but he hasn't responded to me, so I don't know what's going on. I thought I saw him in the Discord. I think it says yeah, he's on. Yeah, like he keeps no. saying that he's like idle or something, like the the DLO dot or whatever that is. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's having. So some... He's not answering me, so I don't know. Which is weird because earlier he was just offline. Yeah. Yeah, he was offline. So he that... came on once with the yellow dot and then turned off and then it came yeah, back. Yeah, you're right, that's right, Daystreet. He's either fapping. Or he saw all of us calling him, and he's just like, oh, I fucked up, and he doesn't want to deal with us. <laughs> no, 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 no. In, like, a week, we're going to see him walking down the street in, like, a delinquent jacket. He's got all new friends now from our rival high school. And they all look almost exactly like you. <laughs> well, except they all have the, the black uniforms, and, you know, Dark Chaz has a bandana. No, they're, no, they're the actual opposite of you guys. Like... <laughs> Oh, like so he, he, so he's hanging out with women. In that case, I don't blame him. No. <laughs> uh, I actually have bet the opposite of me. It's a skinny Asian guy. <laughs> oh. I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, Kate's dude. Yeah. Well, the, not not the current dude, but yeah. The rebound guy. If he guy. shows up on another stream, Abby. <laughs> if he shows up on another stream, that's it. <laughs> is that is that the line crossed again? They're, 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 we have an exclusivity deal with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so as I kind of throw the rabbit, I hear the rustling in the woods. Something's coming in that direction. Is the uh, the kind of wolf language that werewolves have that they can speak to each other with? Is that like instinctive or something <laughs> we learn? As wolves can. Well, because I know wolves they kind of speak play. to each other with a combination of growls and snarls and whatnot. Honest, to tell you the truth, I'm not certain. Glenn, if you want to correct me here, I'm going to say that since werewolves are effectively both physical and spiritual creatures, maybe the Garou language is spiritual too, so maybe it's kind of like hunter glyphs where you just instinctively understand it. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Aren't there warriors of werewolves just talking to each other through mind? Baby, you gotta... <laughs> You, you gotta understand that we're we're in a very specific setting. Yeah, 
yeah, no, I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just here. And <laughs> technically, they could do that with the right totem, but that's not an option. Actually, we can. We just, we just all haven't gotten our totem together. It's true. The totem does not exist yet. Yeah. I mean, our glorious Danny exists. DeVito totem. However, I would like to say one thing. Yes. So, you're, you're not quite a Garou yet. You're a werewolf. You, yeah. I, I could, I could understand that you could understand the Garou language. Why would Lucius? My argument would have been that it's more wolvish. I'm assuming that, well, yeah, wolves have a way of communicating with each other. And yeah, I'm smarter than the average dog. Uh, now, I will give you that one. Because you're part wolf now, too. Maybe you have those instincts. Maybe in the back of your mind something surfaced that you can sort of understand how to communicate with this animal. I come in peace. Why do you talk so slow? <laughs> hey, I'm, not, I'm not expecting him to completely understand what I'm about to say, but to kind of get the general gist of what I'm trying to about to tell him. Okay. What do, you, what, what do you want to say? Well, if it is him when he pops out, which I'm assuming I'll recognize because he's a giant silver wolf. Well, the smell, a... the smell hits you first. Yeah. And my God, does he smell pretty. <laughs> You're the prettiest. Almost like as roses. pretty as I look. Actually, no, we have, people haven't seen my helmet for me. I actually do have a picture for this. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it safe for work? Uh, it's, I don't know. It depends. How, how old are they? Well, you're two. <laughs> <laughs> That's 14 in wolf years. <laughs> uh, yes. For people who are uh, around in right now. So when he pops out, I'm, I'm basically just going to make a quip about that. He smells nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Charisma Primal Urge. Oh, I can somewhat do that. Oh, ho. Four successes. Four successes. All right. Oh, no. Uh... God uh, damn it. He's gone. You have lost Land or you have lost Lucius. <laughs> that was the absolute worst possible time for that to happen to. You cannot seem to find him. No. <laughs> well, while that happens, Gwen, back at the keep. You are alone. You're literally alone right now for probably the first time since you've been born, not surrounded by servants or looked over by your father or doted on by your mother, everybody is gone. In one way or another, everybody is gone. And it's no, I have my sister gone. in the other room. Oh, that's true. Ah, uh -huh. checkmate. Checkmate, inner voice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not alone. My sister's crying in the other room. What do you do? Well, stealing myself, I'm going to start moving the bodies. Hopefully there's some sort of wagon still semi-functional around. I'll probably say yeah. Uh, I'm I'm willing to bet that your uh, your your servants would have had some kind of cart to to fill the larders and go about their duties with. Well, Finish the job with the sister, Gwen. Whoa! Oh, I just came on that. What? What? Hey, uh, don't come on the sister. <laughs> out of age. Don't move the woolies. And I am not Adam. <laughs> as far as we know, Tom. No, I mean my picture's on Adam. <laughs> oh, let me fix that. Oh. <laughs> it's 
んでる。They still want to know what's the next Hentai Lit Club? Ah, the next one I got to do. So, <clears throat> I don't currently have a set date for it, but when it does happen, I will post something on the Discord. Continued. Plot twist, he posts something right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's in two hours! <laughs> <laughs> well, I. I'm gonna start loading up, well, as many. Parts I can into the card, I guess. Okay, what, what goes through、well, Gawain's mind as he does this? Remorse. How, how does he、oh, feel? Oh, yeah. Lament. Agony. Hmm, sorrow. Despair. Oh, again. <laughs>、uh, how many、uh, other <laughs> Castlevanias are there? <laughs> Rondo. Dissonance. <Blood. laughs> A bunch of other unpleasant adjectives. <coughs> Sad, bloody tears plays in the background. Boo doo doo. Boo doo doo doo. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Symphony. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>、uh, that's funny.、Uh, you have、uh, horror no prone, don't you, Tom? I do. Well, especially now I do. Oh, I guess he does too. Well, no, I was wondering if you took the flaw. I did. Okay.、Uh, I, I, you get I typed, super depression. I tried to control F, Harano prone, on my PDF, and it corrected to Hermano prone. <laughs> <laughs> You're prone to being a bro. Bro. Bro, you, wanna, you, you need a spotter? All right, well, well, that looks, it takes its sweet ass time looking itself up. <laughs> oh, hang on, here we go. If you get super depression, no one wants to hang out with you or talk to you. Because you're just kind of a downer. Give me a willpower roll, Tom. Oh, I don't have a lot of those. That's the, that's the one I lowballed. Oh, yeah, because you have to shove all your points into Gnosis? Yeah. Because you had, like, what, one? Right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's one success. <clears throat> okay, that's all you needed. So. I don't die. All of your father's beatings have instilled some sort of sense of. Soldiering on into you. And though the horrible creeping malaise tries to press itself into your head, you shut it out with the knowledge that you have a job to do. Lucius, as you're charging out of the underbrush, you notice a figure you hadn't noticed in your, your haste to grab food. Sorry, I thought she was trying to get my attention. Nope. One of the humans from the keep has followed you, apparently. Ah,、uh, what does he want? Be- before, it, b- before any sort of like fear or curiosity can set in, he sort of sniffs and moves his body language in a way you've never seen a human do before. You've seen your wolf siblings do it a hundred times, but not a human. Mm, he's learned our ways. <laughs> He seems to be implying that you smell nice. You smell nice. As you see Charlie die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I've had a, a real bad sickness that I'm just barely getting over. And the cough just assaults my fucking throat every once in a while, so that's why I. Okay. Hammering that mute button. You just、All、need、right. a mainline. Just mainline some green tea. Just. I'm, I'm like that close to having kicked it. I'm, I'm so close to just being done with this shit. Imp! 
How's it Corb, going? How could you? We only do this every goddamn week. <laughs> While you're too busy playing Borderlands. I'm not going to shame you for it. <laughs> Algebra's not real. <clears throat> Anyways. Do you just sniff yourself? I'm like, I do smell nice. <laughs> I, I do smell nice. I Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say my sister will be upset you destroyed the garden. Probably not as upset about the two of us killing everybody. I mean, I probably picked up things like sister, anger, herb, destruction. Sure, yeah. I am 100% okay with you interpreting how much you understand. A wolf weeaboo? An awooaboo? <laughs> Awooaboo's wobble, but you don't fall down. I'm going to kind of motion back towards the keep and... Kind of like, come back with us, or else you're gonna, or else the, or else the big man's gonna put you back in the bag. Ah, uh, I don't like the big man. I will motion to you that I want to bite his nuts. <laughs> yes, yes, we all do. <laughs> I, I will try to give the 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 wolf language interpretation of many wish to bite his nuts. <laughs> is that when you're like, oh, that must be his wolf name? <laughs> First share of the kill for the greatest in station. <laughs> Very well. I will relent and follow after I eat this rabbit. I like to imagine you just had your pawn it the whole time. As you just kind of go fantastic Mr. Fox on it. <laughs> All right. Not Did actually. I just rip it up, throw it everywhere. Some <laughs> just gets on my face, and I just like the the sensation. <laughs> that horse is probably freaking out, or my horse is freaking out. Oh, absolutely! All right, you guys are gonna uh, head back to the keep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who had fugue? Uh, I don't think it was me. I don't. Th was I don't him? have you. Or was or did, I, did, did somebody take hysteria? No. Okay. Well, then we're good. But Josh, when you return to the keep with Lucius in tow, I'm gonna ask you for a willpower roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three successes on a six. If you actually Great enjoy the smell of blood and you come up, it's unstoppable. As you return to the keep with Lucius, the first sights that greet you is a son of a bitch, my fucking throat, man. You are aroused. <laughs> Leander realizes he has an itch in his throat. <laughs> Sorry. As you return to the keep, the first sights that greet you is the smashed door. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. And the Gwen, medieval thought disease. <laughs> Gwen burying the bodies Ooh. one by one, tamping down the dirt with his shovels. It's a spade. <laughs> the mounds of earth protruding from your father's once pristine courtyard erupting like tumors through the green grass that your sister loved so much almost seems to punctuate this chapter in your life as you realize everything you used to know is gone all you have left in the world now is your brothers you're able and one to... sister. <laughs> I forget Adam plays a girl. Anyway. Yeah. 
Maybe he is a boy. Mm -hmm. You're able to hold down the Harano, at least for now. Your family needs you. Gwen, you see Lucius and Leander come walking back through the gate once more. Perhaps with the Sully, like, oh shit, he actually convinced a wolf to follow him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just turn and look at me and just like, I honestly didn't expect you to come back with him. Uh, no, just I honestly didn't expect you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Lander probably does feel a little shitty seeing Gwen burying the bodies by himself, because then it probably feels like another thing that he let his older brother do by himself again. Like a shirking of responsibility. Interesting. Well, right back into Harano. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just sad. <laughs> Except the wolf. He doesn't know what's happening. I don't know he just starts happening. eating one of the fucking arms. Free food. He has that, du has that dumb, like, like just... just Dumb dog face on, tails wagging, just panting a little bit. I mean, if they use their claws, you know. Oh, I remember Bob said that. Bob's werewolf took that move Earth ability when we were playing under a blood red moon. Oh yeah, that's right. He was basically a fucking gopher. <laughs> and I wouldn't so be surprised if something like a a gopher, a groundhog spirit teaches that. Yeah. Or a mole spirit, I think, is actually what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me the power of mighty gopher spirit. How to upset people who try to maintain golf courses. Oh, oh man. Gopher. There used to be a way of everything. Until we came along. Like, where bunnies? <laughs> no, Tom, they're still around. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the bun. <laughs> the bun yips. Uh, Xavier actually just ate one. He ate a, a bunyip kinfolk. Oh. All the right. last of the in Europe. <laughs> uh, it is currently midnight. Do we wish to continue? It's really up to you, Josh. I can go another hour, if need be. I do need to get to bed already. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, honestly, that was a really good session. Uh, god damn. Probably a good thing we're quitting here because my talky bits seem to be giving out on me. Four XP for everyone. Mm -hmm. I will honor Shiny Mewie's vote for Xavier. Who does everyone else vote for and why? Chat, begin the vote. Uh, in the meantime, just real quick. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please follow. If you're listening on SoundCloud, iTunes, wherever else you might happen to find us, Shiny Mewie's very hard work has made it possible for people to hear us. Uh, Fuck you, Daystra. <laughs> 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 I was going to say Adam, too, for perfect roleplay. Did nothing. Anyway... Oh. Social media down below so you can keep up with our live streams. Uh, <laughs> if you really, really like us, Patreon, and then maybe, hopefully, eventually, we won't all have a bedtime and actually be able to do more stuff more. Uh, I'm seeing two votes for Adam. Vasil is voting for X. So, right now, X and Adam are tied. I, I feel that in... Yeah, I'm sure. Taking the horn. For taking yeah. the horn? Yeah. No. Oh. Like grabbing the bull by the horns? Yeah. I will vote. I will vote for Tom. For punching me, for decking me in the face. <laughs> punching you in the snaz? I like that picture that, uh, that Austin posted of the, the buff mimic. Oh, yeah. Just because I imagine that's what Tom's mimic looked like, but just with buff legs instead of arms. Yeah. <laughs> I will give my vote to Josh. Okay, why Josh? Because he has to go to sleep. <laughs> I did say for any reason. 
Okay, so if my count is correct, that my should be. Is, uh, it is a. Was Yusuf by also Hitler, one right? for Tom. I think it's currently three for X, three for Josh, two for Tom. And two for Adam. Does anybody Surprising. voting for me or Adam wish to change their vote? <laughs> oh, Melinda has one vote. <laughs> I'll, I'll let her know. You too, Thoth, buddy. Thanks for coming out. We, we always appreciate having you here. Goodbye. We're not signing off yet. But no, I was saying goodbye to Thoth. Yeah. He has emerald tablets to write. Now, is he writing them on emerald or in emerald? Uh, I don't know if you have the game. All right. Uh, I I think that means Josh wins. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you were streaming earlier, but you were streaming Borderlands too. Boy love too. All right, Josh needs to sleep. Uh, we got to do stuff. I don't know what I got to do. I'll write or something. We love you guys. Thanks for showing up for the live streams. Again, it's a really a pain in the ass to make it when, when we're doing this live. We have a very narrow window. We respect that. And we love the hell out of you guys that we are, we are worth investing that time in. We love every single one of you. And I hope you have a damn good night or day or whatever the hell lies ahead of you. Go to work for sale. Have a good one. Give Nelly our best. All of you people are amazing, and we are super grateful. Thank you. Good night. Goodbye.